Hey everyone, it's Jessica and I'm back with another layout for the Thermal Web Design Team. And today I am going to show you how I made this mixed media layout. Um, I started with a cut file, which is a free cut file by Paper Issues and cut it out on my electronic cutting machine. And then I grabbed a um, piece of white Vicky Booten foundations paper because it holds mixed media really well because it's really thick. And then I've pulled out some shimmers paints here and I'm just going to water them down and just kind of paint them on my layout around that template that I drew um, for where the middle of my sun will sit. And so I'm just basically painting that on and watering it down more as I go, kind of um, getting that color activated. And I'm just going to layer this. I'm gonna do some splatters with each color, but I'm doing each color separately. And then I'm going to use my heat gun in between to just kind of dry up the layers just a bit and um, just dry them kind of enough to where I can add the next color on over top and it'll kind of have some separation to it and not completely blend. Um, I don't mind if they blend together a little bit, but I want some definition in the colors and kind of give it a marbly effect. So I want to kind of dry it up a little bit in between those layers. So here I'm going in with my second color. I'm using some Inklings and some Creamies by Shimmers. And um, I've, I'll list the, uh, the colors down below for you too, so you have those colors. Um, but again, I'm just kind of layering this up, layering each of my colors. I'm layering the splatters as well around that sunshine. And this is just going to kind of peek behind my cut file and give my layout some interest and dimension, uh, which I absolutely love. This one here is kind of a more gold color. Um, it's really, really pretty and it's one of my favorites. Um, this one's called Minor Minor 49er and I just absolutely love this. It's really, really shimmery and pretty whenever it dries. So I'm just adding a little touch of that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and back my um, cut file, but before I do that, I'm gonna pull out my peel and stick toner sheet and run this through my hot laminator. And to do that, I'm going to just place my toner sheet down inside my craft and carrier sheet and then lay that foil right on top, making sure that the foil, the pretty side of the foil is up pointing towards me. So um, while that's running through, I'm gonna go ahead and map my photo using some smooth white cardstock. And as you can see, that has come out of my laminator all shimmering and gorgeous so what I'm gonna do here is I am actually gonna use that gold foil to back my cut file with on the sun rays um, so I'm gonna go ahead and back the middle of it first so I'm just tracing out around my um, cut file here and I'm just gonna fussy cut that out with some scissors real quick and then I will adhere that to the middle of my Sun using some of the ultra bond liquid glue now I have issues with my liquid glue, it clogs up a lot. So all I do is I keep a corsage pin handy and I just poke the top and then it works just fine for me again. So just as long as I keep that handy, um, I usually have to poke it through the first time I use it on a layout and then um, it's fine the rest of the time. So just that initial uh, when I get it out from it just sitting. So here you can see that I have the middle of my sun on there. I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting out these little sunshine rays to back the rest of my file with. So all I'm doing is I've pulled the middle, um, the negative piece off of my cutting mat to use as kind of a guide or a template. And then I am just placing that on top of my foil and then leaving just a little bit of an edge whenever I cut it out so that I have somewhere to adhere the glue to the back of the cut file. So I just give it a little bit of an overlay there. As you can see, there's all my shimmery goodness. That's kind of what it's gonna look like. And here are all of my little pieces. And I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing all of these down. I'm just gonna show you one or two of these and then I will speed this video up so you don't have to watch me glue down each and every one. Apologies for the weird shadows in this. Um, apparently this was an odd time of the day when the sun was shining kind of weird in my craft room. And I noticed that I have shadows all over my paper there. So there, I fixed it and it, it went away now, so we're good. And here I have just pulled out uh, one of the pattern papers from the Coco Vanilla Studio Collection that I'm using. This is the Sunkiss Collection. And I fussy cut a lot of the florals from the one paper. And then I just used my um, cutting knife and cutting mat from Ulfa to cut out the middles of those. I used my scissors to cut out the main part and then I just used the cutting mat and cutting blade to cut out all of the, the centers. It was a little easier for me. 
Just gonna back my photo again with one of the pattern papers from the collection and just rough up those edges with my edge distressor. And then I'm just gonna place down all of these cute little florals um, around my photo as my focal point. And I'm just gonna tuck them kind of in and around and behind my photo. And some of these flowers ran off the page, but I cut them out anyways, because I knew that I was just gonna tuck them around my photo. So it's gonna look like they're full flowers anyways. So I'm just using my liquid adhesive here again, and then I'm going to fluff those petals and leaves up so it looks like they're 3D or dimensional on my layout. So I'm just kind of tucking them in as I go, kind of building this layout up, um, just kind of laying them down and seeing how everything's gonna work before I put that glue on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere my photo down now with some easy tear tape because I know this is where I want it to go. Um, it's not gonna go anywhere else and I can still tuck in more flowers around it if I want to. And then I'm gonna go ahead and adhere down my cut file as well with some easy tear tape. You guys, this stuff is super, super sticky. It is not going anywhere. So when you use that easy tear tape, make sure that that is exactly where you want it to go when you stick it down because if you pull it back up, it's gonna pull your paper with it. But at least you know that it's never gonna go anywhere in your album, so we have that reassurance. <laughs> I'm just um, bringing out some of these little uh, embellishments, little stickers from this Coco Vanilla collection to use. I'm just gonna pop this one up off my page using some of the 3D foam squares. Um, sometimes I have a hard time pulling the backing off these squares, but uh, if you have fingernails, it's really not an issue. Mine are just kind of shabby right now, so <laughs> sometimes it's a little difficult for me to pull them off. So here I'm just fluffing up the edges of all my little petals, making them dimensional and giving them some, um, just some texture. And then I'm gonna go ahead and adhere down my title at this point, which is just gonna say life is good. This was super easy this time because I have the sticker left in um, the sticker pack here that I'm using and I'm kind of getting down to slim pickings on this. Um, this collection. I had to fussy cut all those flowers to use because I really don't have any flowers left uh, from the die cuts. As you can see that orange flower that's laying there with the leaves on my desk here are that's the only flower that I have left from the die cuts. So um, yeah I had to make my own and you know I find with the Thermoweb products it's kind of easy to do that because you have stamps, you have dyes, you have all these things that you can actually make your own embellishments with so if you are kind of low in a collection you can always find ways to make embellishments yourself to go with your layouts which is just wonderful i'm just going to pop this little flower up off my page too to give it some dimension um, i try to make that little orange flower work and tuck it in there just to use it up but it kind of looked funny down there along with the other ones so i left it out for now i guess i'll have it for another layout <laughs> And then I really want to make that little banner piece work too. So I'm going to actually add it in as well when I finish up with these flowers. So I think I'm going to add it up to the top um, and just kind of bring in some, um, just some elements to that top left, just to kind of give my layout some balance. Cause I feel like it's pretty heavy to this one side. So I want to balance that out by putting some things up on that upper left corner too. But I just love how those little sun rays came out. They're so glimmery and pretty. I wish that this video showed the true, true effect of it um, up close and all those colors that that foil brings out. It's so pretty and I just, I love it so much. It's gonna look so pretty. I think I might hang this one up on my wall actually for a little bit um, because I just really like to look at it. <laughs> So I'm just adding a couple little wordy bits here. I'm gonna do some journaling. Um, we were at an amusement park that day and this uh, this photo is just of me and my son and the sun was just kind of peeking through the tree behind us and that's kind of why I wanted to bring this giant sun into this layout so um, kind of went with that whole sunshiny theme and fun and it was just a beautiful summer day and he had an absolute blast so <laughs> it was really fun. So there, I'm just adding a little cluster here and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some um, Catherine Polar sequins in here with my sequin tool and that Ultra Bond glue. So I'm just gonna kinda make them look like they're scattered around the page in this top corner and then some more in the bottom right. Again, it's all about balance for me. I like my layouts to have a nice flow to them and kind of balance out. So that's just what I'm doing here. I'm adding them up here, but I'm also going to add them in the bottom right too. 
So pretty easy. This is a pretty simple layout. If anyone wants to scrap lift it or copy it, feel free to scrap lift any of my layouts. And then to kind of finish this one off, I'm just going to do my date stamp on one of these little stickers here and I'm just gonna tuck it down here by my photo. So easy peasy today. I love how this one came out. I hope you guys did too, and I hope you enjoyed watching this process. If you have any questions for me, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer for you. So thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.